All right, we are back for another one on Moon Soaps Week. I got some E9 from Washington State, from Tacoma, Washington, to be exact. And this one's called The Next Movement. Double IPA. Let me read the uh, the notes here. I really like that they put that. It's 8% alcohol, and we have a double dry hopped, double IPA, fermented with slightly hazy British ale yeast. And then it says, complex characteristics of lemon, lime, citrus, and peach mango stone fruit. This is going to go well with the bright citrus notes on Sorrento. Let's get right into this. Let's see what it's all about. <sighs> kind of definitely get that peach stone fruit um, on the nose. Not as much citrus on the nose. Let's see if we get those flavors, though. Okay. The peach stone fruit is definitely dominant, in my opinion. Maybe... The hops would have been a little bit more dominant for the citrus characteristics if I would have drank them fresher. Regardless, really good, really tasty still. I would say this one's definitely on the more fruity side than the piney, resinous, dank side. Uh, and then just a little bit of citrus. Very nice stuff. That's going to go very well with Moon Soaps Sorrento. Look at that awesome label. I love their labeling. Moonsoaps.com on the side. Sorrento shaving soap. From the butcher to the barber rendered in-house tallow. That's awesome. Let's get a whiff. This is a nice one. It's. I feel like this is a crowd pleaser. This is one for the fresh boys. It's a citrus aquatic. It's got kind of like a sparkling characteristic to it. If I didn't know any better, I'd say there was a slight white floral characteristic to it. It's it's a good one. I have reviewed it before. We got it loaded up into the Lancaster bowl. Before we get started, though, we're going to get the mandals lit. This was actually the juicy pineapple mandal. That was uh, gifted to me by Ken over at Shave326. So this is actually a candle from Hawaii. So we got that lit. It's in this nice little wooden bowl. The wick is off-center, so it's burning unevenly. But it's all good. It smells great. We'll have that juicy pineapple going in the back. <clears throat> if you guys can hear the rain, it is raining. I crack the window kind of slightly because I I like the sound of rain. It's kind of, uh, it's nice. You know what I mean? It calms the savage beast inside. We got the Viking soaps handle with the Strike Gold Shave hand-tied executive badger knot. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and wring the water out. Give you guys a look. Kind of have that patch of gels kind of running along the middle there. Maybe a little bit in the center as well. But definitely doesn't look like it's 100% throughout. And uh, I kind of like that. That it's not like gelled all the way throughout. It reminds me of my Lancaster. My Lancaster has like a little patch of, um, <clears throat> of gels. And it's not like 100% throughout. And my Lancaster is still my favorite knot. So, <laughs> that kind of tells you that this Hair Force, I mean not Hair Force, this Executive Badger is kind of up there with it. Doesn't beat it, but it's up there with it. And it's a very nice hand-tied offering by all rights. <clears throat> Every time somebody acquires something, I think they have, like, a certain pressure on them to say that the next thing is the best thing. And <laughs> it's like, that's not the case at all. Like, can't something just be good without it having to be the best? 
This uh, hand tied knot from Frank is absolutely enjoyable. I really like it, but it just doesn't beat my Lancaster. And some people would say, like, that's a fail. But it's like, did you not just hear all the compliments that I just gave it? <laughs> it's not like I'm getting rid of it. It's not like I'm ditching it out of my den. It's it's a very, very good offering. I would not hesitate to recommend it. Uh, in fact, I would endorse it. You know what I mean? I like it. I, I get plenty of enjoyment out of this knot. I just think it's funny when, when people inquire about it. And they ask, well, is it is it your new favorite? No, it's not. But it's up there. It's up there. Man, we got some nice lather building in this Lancaster bowl. I know this uh, moon soaps can take a good amount of water, so I'm I'm giving it, giving the giving it all the water it can take. <clears throat> We got some suds. So, I'm happy to be back in Moon Soaps week. I think Moon Soaps, Melody, and Kent are deserving of their own week. I love their community involvement. Even if it's just kind of on the behalf of their social media, Kent Designs and Moon Soaps, hopping in on lives, um, liking different posts and whatnot, and not just of their own shit, just like if you have a nice shave of the day, not using a single Moon Soaps product, you're liable to get a, a like or a smiley face with some heart eyes from Moon Soaps, you never know, you know what I mean? These guys are just real cool people. They send you warm regards with every order. It doesn't get much better than some warm regards. I got I got suds galore, man. My poor my poor shirt is gonna be drenched. That looks nice. Um, I've yet to pick up a bomb. I'm not like the biggest fan of bombs. I admittedly like splashes better. I like the form factor better, but. I've heard good things about their bombs. If they had like sample sizes of their bombs, whoop, excuse me, I would definitely consider that. But um, it's not a necessity. I have unscented balm products here. Um, I have plenty of aftershaves that I can mix and match with their offerings. And um, I also have used. Their bath soaps, their bath soaps are pretty fire as well. We are going to be using the Master Class Wacker Chevalier, as seen right there on the spine, and then Wacker right there. Um, what is that? Whatever that is. <laughs> <clears throat> Fellas, what is this section, like the neck? I know it's not called the neck, at least I don't think it's called the neck. It might still be considered the tang, but maybe not. Anyhow, going to be using the French Point Whacker. This is my favorite straight razor in the den, and it's an absolute work of art. It's beautiful. Lee, I got my hair cut. <laughs> no need to call me a bum or a peasant anymore. 
I'm back, baby. <clears throat> this thing is smooth sharp and I like that this one came out of uh, Griffith shaving supplies or Griffith's shaving goods let me correct myself Griffith shaving goods and it is a doozy I like whacker <laughs> as soon as I saw Whacker for the first time on Rick from Scent Suds and Steel, when I saw it on his uh, channel for the first time, it used to be called Loose Screw Shaving, I lost my shit. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's a beauty of a razor. And, uh,. When I saw Griffith haul in like 20 or 30 of these bad boys, I was like, it's over. It's over. Game over. <laughs> I was like, I know I'm getting one. No fucking doubt about it. <clears throat> so... I had a, a buddy inquire me about moon soaps today. Seemed a little bit um, hesitant. Sounds like he's heard mixed reviews. I gotta say, watching these moon soaps week videos, it's probably gonna be <laughs> a swing in the positive direction I'll tell you that much but I, I fully endorse uh, moon soaps like I've used them multiple times now I have every um, shaving soap offering in my den that they offer uh, I don't have a full tub of Union but I have had two samples of Union still have one but I had two samples of Union, and um, I like every scent that they offer. I was describing them a little bit yesterday. Uh, they have three different shaving soap, like, bases, formulas. One of them is a tallow shaving cream. One of them, or the other two are tallow shaving soaps. No vegan offerings, unfortunately. But all three are really high quality. Apparently, he heard somewhere that um, one of the formulas had more uh, coconut, oil or coconut oil or something like that. And therefore, it was uh, slightly drying. I have not found any of these to be drying. Um, I always use an aftershave product of some sort, though. So, there's that. But, after a moon soap shave, I've never found myself wanting in the post-shave area. Um, that said, you know, if you're not someone who follows up with the post-shave and, you know, you kind of put that responsibility squarely on your shaving soap, maybe that is something to be a little bit hesitant about. Um, but moon soaps is a good value. Six ounces for... Like 20 bucks, you like just buy one soap, you'll probably get a sample thrown in there as well. Uh, if you reach out, you might even be able to pick what scent that sample is. Melody and Kent and uh, Zach are like, really nice people, you know, you might be able to work something out with them. I would never hesitate to reach out to the artisan. Worst comes to worst. They don't answer at all. <laughs> um, worst comes to second worst. You know, they can't accommodate you. Which, you know, 
they they can't always accommodate you, but it's not the end of the world if they can't give you your pick of the litter. You're getting free shit, and you can't really complain about free shit when you get free samples. But I'm telling you, don't I wouldn't hesitate. Moon soaps is good shit. Look at that lather. I know I could probably add a little bit more water to that, but it is plenty slick as is. I kind of like it in this um in this territory too. See that strike gold shave? Just give up that just give up that lather. Do you guys see that flow through? I didn't have to uh didn't have to get the fingers out and squeegee it out. Just gave it a little roll and a little bit of pressure along my cheek and just <laughs> squirt it out as if it was in a tube. Beautiful. Yeah. That executive knot is dense. It's dense as fuck. But that one actually gives it up. <clears throat> Anthony uh, Esposito commented in my last video. And, um... Hi, Ant. <laughs> and he said, uh... You know, that's... Because I was using the fader... And I also mentioned that the fader wasn't dense. Um, and that was neither a compliment or, you know, a diss. It was more so like an observation. But I was taking a jab at the uh, ultra high density guys. <laughs> it's uh, definitely unneeded. And those lower density knots do have way better flow through in my experience they're not as much of lather hogs i don't even think they have the potential to be as much of lather hogs as these super high density knots Now, I don't always find, you know, like every high density knot to be a lather hog, because I just showed you this fucking uh, executive hand tied knot is dense as fuck, and it's not a lather hog, and it has good flow through. But if I were to take a toll on everything in my den, I think the high density stuff tends to be more of a lather hog than the, you know, lower density stuff. Just, it, it's just, it is what it is. I can get by with either one. The high density stuff feels great. The low density stuff feels great. Um, sure, it looks great for Shave of the Day pictures to have that super high density knot. Looks fantastic. You get that fucking wide bloom and... It just looks majestic and all get out, you know. But there is a little bit of um, performance to be taken into consideration there. And um, it's not the end of the world. It's not a deciding factor in my shaves. But... You know, it's something to be, you know, noticed. Something to take note of. This fucking thing is smooth as hell. Sharp smooth, like I said. <clears throat> I don't sleep on this razor. I show it respect. But it sure as hell. <laughs> Feels nice. When you're taking those, those swipes. Alright. And 
and that will do it for me. That was a fucking smooth shave right there. Let me get some of that lather out of, uh, one thing about having the beard is the beard holds on to all kinds of lather. If you get your razor, if you touch that razor up against that beard, boy, that beard is going to mop some lather across your razor, which is a con. It is a con because you don't want lather in and around your pins. You don't want lather kind of getting in between those scales. It is a con, but, you know, what can I do? You know, I just try my best to clean it immediately. I have my uh, towel right off to the side of me so I can, you know, wipe it down immediately and try to remedy any soap getting near the pins. But, regardless, it is what it is. That was a damn fine shave. I will reiterate, a damn fine shave. That was kind of uh, on par with how good of a shave yesterday's shave was with the gem featherweight. The uh, Wacker Chevalier kind of just followed up with a with a strike right down the right down the lane. <clears throat> Very nice. Switch tools. Switch hardware. Switch software. And got the same result. A damn fine shave. And um, don't take damn fine shave with any negative connotation whatsoever. Because I consider damn fine shave to be the best shave <laughs> there is to get. I didn't name my channel DK BBS. I didn't name myself Baby Butt DK. <laughs> I named it Damn Fine Shave because I believe Damn Fine Shave sounds better than Baby Butt Smooth any day of the week. I'm not a child. <laughs> you ain't my mama. <laughs> Damn Fine Shave sounds more manly. More badass in every instance. So when I say damn fine shave, I mean that was about as good a shave as I could have possibly gotten. Damn fine shave indeed. Alright. First off. I was looking for something to pair with Sorrento, and I got way back in my den. <laughs> so I pulled out some Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Haven't used this in forever. This was probably in that second year of wet shaving. Just got a little bit there. Just going to do a light layer of... Nivea post shave balm. It's lightly scented. Um, other than when I just went past the nose, I can't even smell it. I think the uh, Sorrento residual soap that's still on my skin um, overpowers it. Not that Sorrento is like a 10 out of 10 scent strength. It's more of like a 6 out of 10, most likely because the citruses are easy to perceive as top notes. And then, I'm going to follow up that with some fine platinum. Everybody knows this one. This is a uh, Creed Aventus dupe with a good restrictor, unlike PAA. <laughs> Had to get some PAA shots in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get some on the cheeks as well. And then we'll call it. All right, fellas. That's it for me. It was another good one. Get in on Moon Soaps Week. Have some fun. All right. Cheers. Thank you for all the support. I'll catch you on the next one.